Hi class, my name is Muhammad Prince. This is my week two discussion post. So an overview, I'm gonna go over an uh, uh, article from chapter one, Beyond Machiavelli, Tools for Coping with Conflict. Um, article from chapter two, which is Managing Public Disputes. Um, an article from chapter, another article from chapter one, which is Getting to a Resolution. And then uh, article from chapter three, which is Labor Negotiation and Settlement. So uh, this article, expands the the definition of conflict and how conflict arises in society it also discussed reasons why conflict occur um it even showcased steps that leaders should take when dealing with conflict um before during the conflict and after the conflict occurs the article um has some great information on how to prevent conflicts as well as mitigate and solve a conflict. So um, this article, Managing Public Disputes, um, it discusses conflict and the events that make up the conflict as well as the resolution process. It gives tips on how to have successful conflict resolution efforts, which make the dispute resolution manageable. Um, the article also discusses how to manage conflict before it happens. It, uh, it lays out how to identify and prevent conflict before it gets to that next level. So this article, um, getting to a resolution, um, this article discusses conflict and how it is displayed in various types of different relationships which can include work relationships as well as personal relationships. Um, it discusses conflicts that um, arise from a lack of communication. And it discusses the need for trust in the resolution process. And um, also how to um, collaborate with peers in order to get to that um, desired resolution. So uh, this article from chapter three, Le uh, legal negotiation and settlement, um, Williams states that negotiators mirror a positive image. Um, their openness and willingness to compromise opens the door to positive and further communication and discussions towards resolution. This helps people understand and be more willing to understand both sides of the argument. Um, they're more willing to negotiate when the negotiator is sincere and considerate and expresses respect for, for both sides of the conflict. So that was my week two uh, discussion post. And I just want to say thank you for watching. Um, I look forward to viewing everyone else's.